Hello Technions, today I am going to give you a brief demo of how to implement convolution neural networks in order to detect the fracture in an x-ray. So if you want to see the whole code and its implementation, I request you to watch this video till the end. Before we explore how we are executing the project, let me make sure of one thing that this is not just a CNN algorithm, but the CNN algorithm has been implemented to the Flask framework. As you are able to see, this folder consists of items that are related to Flask. It means that we are deploying this CNN algorithm into a web application through which we are going to check whether an X-ray image is fractured or not. So here consists of the templates folder which consists of all the HTML files and this static folder consists of the images and the style1.css file. So in that we are going to write these style scripts and now as we are able to see this route folder is used for routing from one page to another. Now let us get into the main topic of how you are able to detect the fracture using convolution neural networks. Even though this is a web application project, I am going to completely concentrate on convolution neural networks algorithm in this video. First of all, you are able to see here that I am training the data set to the algorithm. So this data set is also called as Mura version 1.1 data set. Now I am taking the target size as 100 by 100. Now as you are able to see the batch size is 54, it means that Per batch, I am going to take 54 images in order to train the algorithm. And after that, I have used the Conv2D filter from the Keras module and I have applied activation tanh function such that it would be more appropriate than ReLU function because it has more gradient advantage when compared to the ReLU function. So soon after that, I have used the max pooling 2D function and I have also considered the dropout in order to avoid overfitting. So similarly, I have done it for four other layers, whereas when it comes to the last layer, I have preferred sigmoid than tanh. It is because the sigmoid activation function ranges from 0 to 1 and hence it is used for binary classification. We can simply say that sigmoid activation function depicts the probability of a data item to belong to a particular class. Post completion of training, we are going to build a model using these bunch of lines of code. And soon after we build the model, we are going to save the model with the help of this write function and save weights function. And he is going to be a proof that we have saved our models. As you are able to see that the models are, have been saved to model.json and model1.h5. Now let us see how the code predicts the result of an x-ray. So this is the code that predicts the result of an x-ray. It is this code that I have integrated into the flask that is this route.py file. Now let's test this application by running this. Yeah. By clicking on the run button, the whole application is being run. Yep, the server has been started. As you are able to see here, the server URL is localhost 5000. The 5000 is the port number. Yep, now I have skipped the routing part as it is unnecessary and showing you the image uploading page. Here, the patient is going to enter his name, uh, some technions, and then his age, randomly some 50. So whether he is going to be a male or a female, let's keep it as male. Now choose file. Now you are going to upload your file. So let us take from my validation set. My validation data set, it's a new folder. Train. Yep. One. Valid and in this, this, these are the pictures of the fractured images. 
now some let us take some random image uh, this one and you're going to upload it now generate report yeah yes as it is a fractured image it has shown it as fracture now let us try some different scenario like some picture which is not fractured again some technions yeah right here and edge uh, this time let's keep it as um, 100 yeah this time it's let it be female and now I'm going to upload a file which is not fractured image which is not fracture now let us take some random one this thing yep and click on generate report yes let's see what's the result yes as you are able to see the result is unfractured so by this we can say that this algorithm is perfectly working so thank you guys thank you for watching very patiently and if you are really willing to get this code I would just request you to ping me through the Instagram that link was given in my uh, channel description so or channel description page so uh, just ping me through Instagram if you really want to get this code uh, out of intuition okay thank you and bye bye